Lolo, how's it going? How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Hi, hobbits! Oh, are you guys ready for this crazy game? <laughs> the physical embodiment of love. Ali, you are an amazing streamer, and I appreciate you. No matter how much I mess with that uh, alert's volume, it always never ceases to surprise me. Uh, no, we are not doing this music. But thank you. Thank you, Shitbot. Thank you, Hobbits, for always redeeming that for me. But I appreciate both of you. I appreciate all y'all. You ready for this crazy game that we're going to be playing? Because it's only going to get crazier. I give you an appreciate because you was the bomb with the ba. It's a crazy game. This is funky music and I love it. Which is funny because I didn't search for funk today. I searched for swing. And it gave me country. Ugh. Don't give me something I don't ask for! I'm awesome. Well, thank you. I only hope to live up to your expectations of that. So, I was talking with um, my main moderator before stream because I have been debating whether or not I want to change some different aspects of the stream and I wanted to get your input on it as well if you are willing to give me that input. Hello Tiz, speaking of my main moderator, there he is. Uh, so we were talking before stream about um, how much of a spaz I am and how if something is not immediate and brand new at every second of every day that I get bored of it. The sole uh, two exceptions being my husband and uh, swing dance. <laughs> so um, basically I was talking about how ever since we changed the stream blob to the stream donut, I'm bored with it. And... I was looking through the different themes on Streamlabs and um, trying to figure out what would be better, I guess. So I don't want to go back to the stream blob because like as much as I love it, it's old. It's old news now. I can't go back. The blob was cooler, um, but it's, it's old news. It's not new to me. I need something new. I don't like the donut because I was hoping that it would change color whenever uh, it got defeated and uh, I'm kind of disappointed that it doesn't because like there's so much different things you could do with that. You, it could be a jelly donut. It could be chocolate sprinkled. It could be uh, the, uh, the, the, the Simpsons donut, you know, with the pink glaze and the rainbow sprinkles it, it could be so good and they just failed me on that but um yeah so like the donut is now boring how about you now hear me out on this the word steve but written different for every new donation that would be cool if i could figure that out <laughs> steve <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Steve. Uh, 
What about the word Steve, but in a different font for every new donation? Every time it gets beat. That would be funny. But, like, we were also talking about how, like, when we looked through the different things, um, like, the different plugins and codes and stuff, um, it, I, I don't know, it, it's just all bars. It's all horizontal bars for, like, donations, or for follow goals, or for sub goals. It's all horizontal bars. And I don't have that much real estate because of all the art that I've crammed in. It's just not a lot of real estate left. And uh, so I was looking at this one, which is basically, it's like a thermometer? It's like the uh, thing that you use to hang outside uh, to get like the temperature, where it's a vertical thermometer, and you'd be able to see where the mer mercury or mercury or however the heck you call it. But basically, it would be vertical rather than horizontal. And there's just not that many options on Streamlabs, so I'm trying to figure out what would be better. Oreos would be better, but uh, ironically, I'm not the biggest Oreos fan. Like, I like Oreos. They're objectively okay, but like, it's not something that I'm going to go out of my way to eat every single day all the time, mainly because anything with a ton of sugar now just makes my cavities sizzle. So I kind of... My... <sighs> I'm not sure if my habits ended up making me do this or just my body threw a fit and said, uh, ugh. Same thing with brownies, too sugary. What if the Dunator has to write Steve in their own special way? I mean, that would be cool, but I think that would be a little bit hard to, um, hard to program. Tacos? Eh. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, the, the, the other thing in the, the widget theme that was in the same package as the vertical thermometers, it had a stream boss, but it was a hot dog. Which, granted, I feel like would be kind of cool again, but um, it's very long vertically or not vertically, horizontally so it takes a lot of horizontal space because it is a hot dog you have so many tacos and each donation eats a taco that'd be cool if it existed but uh, I have yet to see that but anyways it is time for us to put all those conversations aside and get into playing a insane video game. So give me one second and I'll get us on over. And just as a reminder, this game is the type of game who, uh, where there is a lot of flashiness. So if you are a person who has epilepsy or experiences seizure from flashing lights, this game is not for you. And uh, this is your out. So, but I do uh, appreciate your attendance. Anyways, it is time for us to get the game started. And as always, let me know if the volume is too loud on the game or on me. No. Alright, so as per usual, I have completely forgotten what was going on in the last session. I do know that we are still on file too. <laughs>
Okay. She looks like she just washed her face. She's ready. I guess we're going somewhere. So many places. Oh my gosh. Uh, Bloom Park, Ikumi Shrine, Cold Storage Warehouse, Lemna Skate, Sunfish Pocket, Central Hospital, and Marvel. Uh, let's start with the beginning. Let's go to Bloom Park. We just finished um, uh, Ota's sink, didn't we? Alright, Bloom Park Tuesday. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. Oh, that's sweet. Where was Renju, Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and Mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Uh, did you go on any other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun, it felt wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Hmm. Have you come here before with friends? Other than last Friday? Nope, I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Why is that? How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. Yeah, no kidding. Horse? Merry-go-round horse. Uh, Mizuki? Say nothing. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asks me something strange. Hey, Date, how do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Aww. Well, I guess that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is what I think. A family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. Aww. I killed them. What? I killed mom and daddy. What? What are you saying? I... 
I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working and start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, mom wouldn't have been killed. Maybe no. This, all of this is all my fault. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal! Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. I'm sorry, have you She's met still children? Abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yet why is my little girl? She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. It is. I'm doing more than anyone. Bullshit. Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal. Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. He's not wrong, though. Where's Mizuki now? Sleeping at home? Not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Do you want to call it a night? What? Why? I finally get some time to myself and you want to end it? Date, really? Just let her talk a little longer. No! Fuck you! <sighs> With a skinny and a glass. Bar counter. Bottles on the counter. I'm not talking to that bitch again. Mama. You should scold her. Hey, Shoko. No, no. No, no, no. That's not fucking scolding. There, I scolded her. Ugh. I'll take a drink. Sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. What do you think? I think she's loaded. Can I get this off her chest? Polishing the bonito as usual. Beer tap. Shelves. Picture. Specials. Poster. Sofa. Table. Ugh. Fine. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. Then why did you do it? I know it? that. I know that. But I have a good reason. No, you she don't. She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? What the Calm hell do you mean, what down. am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? Because if you're, you're hitting cry, her. Why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. I'm so glad you're dead. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? 
Dante. Deserve everything. Well, you dang. I'll well, talk dang. To you about this. I like well, dang. Deserved every single thing you got. I hope you died slowly and in pain. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. <coughs> well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. That doesn't excuse it. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. Uh-huh. I don't... Did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Listen to Ren's story. What time do you close? When you two are done talking. That's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. What do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? Yeah, good point. Stay safe, Hobbits. Really? You're not even going to say, Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. Polishing the Bonito. I don't feel that bad doesn't about mean Shoko. She's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Maybe it's best if they were separated. Fuck yeah. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. Yeah, she because she's not and getting it. And physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. Can you step in and take over the parenting? I have a company now. Lemniscate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. And that's more important than your daughter. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Asshole. Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. Thank you. I knew about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. <laughs> Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're leaving this area. Let's go to Akumi Shrine. Yep, the game have forced us to move. I'm fucking pissed. I want to punch two dead people. That's what I want to do. Kumi Shrine, Tuesday. Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy teen of you. <laughs> don't call me a teen. You're 12. 
Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. Yeah, what? So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. About your training. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah. It's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. Leave it to me! Begin! God damn. <laughs> well, this is on you. Huh? Hey! <laughs> are you two doing? Mizuki, run for it! <laughs> About the bullies. By the way. Whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? You probably fucking crushed them. Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... I broke all their front teeth. Jeez. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. And you? <laughs> it's a secret! When you tell people your wish, it won't come true! Then Guess we're never leaving. Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. Slick. You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? Hey, Mizuki, do you think you could fit your hand into the box there? <laughs> hey, Date, are you really a cop? Mr. Bell? Mrs. Bell. I see you two are getting along well. The shrine looks rather solemn. Why do dog? these dog statues always have one with its mouth open and one with its mouth closed? Good question. Maybe the one with his mouth open is going, ah, and the one with his mouth closed is going, um. <laughs> <laughs> They're the one who asked. <laughs> Lantern. Monument. Something engraved, but I can't read it. What does it say? When riding on a train, people on opposite sides of the car doors shouldn't stare at each other. That's what it says. That is 
definitely a lie. Urch. All right, can't do anything else. Oh, Mizuki. All right, next up, uh, cold storage warehouse. This is where Iris and Ota almost got killed, right? It gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You need to chill. You need to get better jokes. Oh, I understand. <laughs> chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. Uh, policeman? Cop? He looks so cold he might piss his pants. What? Really cold policeman. Inspector? What's your name? <laughs> oh, wait. I remember. It was Kagami, right? What did you say? Oh, sorry. My fault. Must be mistaken. No! No! You're exactly right! Wow. What's the matter with you? Sorry, I just get so emotional sometimes. <laughs> Date, this guy is kind of weird. You're right, Mizuki. Stay away. <laughs> huh? What? There are a lot of weirdos out there. If you get a bad feeling, trust your instincts and don't get too close. Yeah, I'll be careful. Hey! <laughs> you must be exhausted. This might sound weird coming from me, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? Thank you for caring. It means a lot. What's your name? Huh? I'm sorry. I just totally forgot. Date, sir! Hmm? What is it? This is how it's supposed to be. A man like you doesn't have to remember the names of people like me. But we're co-workers. We both work for the MPD. Isn't it rude to not remember your name? No, no, not at all. It has to be this way. All right, if you say so. Do you like your line of work? Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, depending on the case, sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. You're a great guy. You should learn from him. <laughs> do you know why I do this job? What keeps me going? I heard you became a cop so you could steal underwear from the gym and not get in trouble. <laughs> Who told you that? Rude. I'll show them trouble. Any leads? No, not so far. We see each other a lot. Want to go out? Yeah, you're right. Maybe in a previous life we... Taro. You must be Taro, right? No, I'm not Taro. He's looking over something. Oats Let's was sing. down around here, right? Correct. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. So, therefore, That's it must be the, uh, the blood. killer's blood? The blood stain here is not from a single person. Two different blood types are present. 
One of them is most likely Ota's. The other... Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. But it might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. Ice cutting. No clues here. Equipment. What they use to stream, but it's difficult to identify anything else. Shelves. Is this warehouse not in use? Forklift B. Don't see anything special about it. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. Where did we find Hasn't Iris again? Moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. Forklift. I thought it was in that one. Uh, shelves with boxes. Nothing that can be a clue. Oil drum. Not a clue. Cardboard box. What would happen if I put you in that box and then dropped a five ton weight on it? I'd die, obviously. Well, you couldn't fit me in the box anyway. Oh. I'll just cut you into pieces then. <laughs> She's hunching her shoulders from the cold. Alright, next up. Let's go to Lemniscate. Let's say hi to boobies. Reception desk. Logo. Plant. Date, look at that! It's a Hercules beetle! Oh yeah, she has a thing for bugs. Hercules beetle! <laughs> How about getting excited by insects again? Wait, why is that even here? Seriously, why is that here? Plant. I asked painting. someone about that earlier. It's like lionfish and shag carpet or something. What? Window. Monitor. Oh, it's Payasi Samba. Oh, yes. Payasi Samba. Don't know who that is. Door. Probably an office back there. Vending machine. Magazine racks. Special. Underground horse racing bets to win big. I'll take that one home with me next time. Your entire voice annoys me. Lots of magazine in that rack. It's a high table. It's a high stool. Stool is a chair that has no or a very small backrest. Okay, thanks for that useless bit of information. Uh, plants, plants, blank monitor. Sofa. What's that sofa stuff with? Feathers to sofa tickle your bum with. You got a ticklish bum? Low table.
All right. Uh, do you have any memories of Ernju here? Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual. The usual? What's the usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh. So that's the usual. I'm leaving the best for last. Uh, about the person with the injured leg. Mizuki, could you go to the office? Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Got it. She ran into the office. After a while, she returned dejected. Looks like it didn't go well. No. Okay. Have you seen anyone with an injured left leg? Uh, no, sorry. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. What? what? Sounds horrifying. Uh, by the way, what's your cup size? Oh, two. Well, of course it would be two cups. Three cups would be a nightmare. <laughs> Date, why are you asking that? I want to touch your too big. Oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. But okay. Seriously? Really? Yeah. I sprinted to the desk. Then she sealed her mouth shut and puffed out her cheeks. I poked them with the tip of my finger. They were surprisingly soft. Date, what are you doing? Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Uh, no. Mizuki punched me in the gut and dragged me back to where I was. Ow. Let's go to Atomy together! Huh? What? What are you doing? Let's go to Atomy together! I'm putting the investigation on hold. I'm going to Atomy with her. I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. Side effects of the medication. What medication? This is acute brain failure. Let's go! Wait, are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Let's go! Date, you're being annoying again. Do you know how angry I can get, Date? You're an AI. You don't have emotions. Let's go! Let's go to Atami. Uh, okay! I took her hand and let her out of Lemniscape. I left I behind. <laughs> Thus concludes the case of the new Cyclops serial killer. Goodbye, police life. Hello, Atami Shizoya. I decided to begin life anew as a carnival worker in the hot springs town. The end. A Tommy date route. End. <laughs> yes. Uh, reopen. We were at... We were 
Lemnis Lemniscate, weren't we? Yeah. Um, let's check out Renju's office. Good idea. You might find something important in there. Mizuki and I investigated Renju's office, but I didn't find anything that could be a clue. Damn, no hits. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. I'm gonna make a new save. Sunfish pocket. I visited Sunfish Pocket with Mizuki, where Renju was killed. Once again, I looked for any clues that we may have missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. I'm sorry for bringing you here. Because this is where Daddy's corpse was? I told you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you, so... Can you think of anything? Um... Not really. Let's get going. Yeah. Nothing we can do here. Central Hospital. Mizuki! And Date. <laughs> He's not happy Ota, to see us. are you okay? Yeah, totally. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, not at all. You're fine right here. No, really, I should go. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. So... Mayumi quickly shuffled out of the room. Thanks, Mizuki. Huh? You came to visit me, right? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> it would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. Yeah. Uh, how are you? Forget me. Are you okay? You passed out last night. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about... Reika... Reika... Seriously? Seriously. Uh, have you remembered anything? No, just what I told you yesterday. All right. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. Dang. Like shock therapy? Whoa, old yeah. school. Yeah. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. <laughs> we are, but if it ain't broke, you can learn a lot from the past. I see. Maybe you should hit him. <laughs> no, no, no way. 
Ota's pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He's the type that gets annoying around women. A bed. <sighs> when will the day come when Iris is sleeping beside me? Never. I guess is never. <laughs> <laughs> About the investigation. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? If you remember anything at all, please, tell me. Well, maybe that all depends. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog my memory. Are you really gonna do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used to it by now. What are you so making disgusting. her read? Lots of things, like... W wait, Mizuki! You don't have to tell him! <laughs> Lying down in bed? About Iris. Have you heard about Iris? The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. <laughs> hey, Ota. Next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes. To wish that Iris will get better. Yeah. We could even make her a life-size crane. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. about Ota? I heard that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. That's so cool, Ota! You have a wound of honor! No, not really. Well, I guess a little. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. <laughs> it was a good thing Iris was saved. But he's still irritating. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. He basically cosplays in public, as it is. Should we get going? Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Wait! You two just got here! Yeah, and you're already annoying. It's okay. We saw you. Now we can go. <sighs> we already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Right. Where to now, Date? Hmm, let's see. Uh, let's go to Marble. You gonna be okay, Lolo? <laughs> so that's the situation. I see. Someone with an injured left leg, huh? Was it you? Know anything about the new Cyclops uh, serial killings? I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. Uh. What? Does that I don't mean? want to know what that means. I have no idea. Bad mama, no. Uh, about Mizuki. I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. She's also right I here. I just eat her up. Um, okay. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. <laughs> Date, what are you making me say? You said that on your own. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? You just want to slip your tongue somewhere lady else. Mama is referring to. Don't ask me. <laughs> About the culprit with the injured leg. Sorry, no idea. Damn. I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. And if I find something, you have to take a bath with me. Ooh. Absolutely not. Oh, why not? 
Because <laughs> you take up all the hot water. That's your issue? I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. It's a costume? Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. The six-pack abs, I bet. Time to go. Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? I have an investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient, even though you take your time in bed. Don't say things like that. In bed? What does that mean? <laughs> you don't need to know. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, last but not least, Abyss Headquarters. Lolo, calm down with the caps lock, please. Date, a call from boss. Shall I connect you? No, wait. If I take the call, Mizuki might ask questions. Are you talking to yourself again? Do you need to go to the hospital? Exactly. I can put it on speaker. Please. Date, are you with Mizuki right now? Yes, what's up? I need you to come to Abyss Headquarters with Mizuki. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah, the head office is here. They want to get information from Mizuki. We here at Abyss have her testimony, but the rest of the MPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. order comes straight from the top. We don't have the power to say no. So, please. You heard her. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. Fight the power! We are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. Toenail. As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And anytime we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Dotte! Not my fault! Police headquarters, Tuesday, 3.57 p.m. Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? Ew, what? Yuck. I didn't lick anything. Anyway, thanks, Date. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. It'll be over soon, don't worry. Besides that, Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Kagari, Mogami, something like that. Kinesa. Oh, Toro! Oh, yeah, that's it. A message from Kaniza. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. Could he have... The blood results? I'll head over right away. Mizuki, you be a good girl, okay? Ugh. <laughs> Jeez. Harbor Warehouse District, Tuesday, four forty six, four forty three p.m. Date, sorry to make you come all the way down here, but I have the results of the DNA analysis. What did you find? It's just like you said. There were two different blood signatures. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. Other. Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't find any matches in our database. That is not surprising. 
HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. What now? What now? Who's the person in the Do distance? Not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. Who is that? What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. Two is that so? Dogs. He's looking this way. A person? Human figure. Zoom. Aha! Called it. Hi, so. That's. So, Sejima. What are you doing here? I don't believe it. He's limping. His left leg. Huh? So, Sejima! Stop! Damn it! I'm gonna kick a barrel. It's him. So's the culprit. Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was only dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras, and the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnia. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Dante, calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? Why would he cut out Iris' eyeball? Well... However... I do agree that So is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches So's... Right. We need to get So's DNA. The question is, how? Where can we get So's DNA? The Kumakura's office. Hey, Aiba. Do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. You know what I'm thinking? Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table? Yeah! The, the, <laughs> the cigarette butts. So was smoking those cigarettes. Exactly. And so saliva might still be on the butts. If we have that, we have So's DNA. Wait a moment. Achievement unlocked. Appendix that was analyst. Two days ago. The ashtray must have been empty by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. Alright, let's head there. Kumakura office, 5.34 p.m. Hey, what are you doing here? You fucking with us, old man? Date, don't bother. I know. I approached the sofa without saying anything. Looked at the ashtray on the table. But... Hey, where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts, from when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? Ugh. Why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning, I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it. 
I heard something about it being streamed online. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. I know that, idiot. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, he'll help you arrest this guy? Correct. All right. Look around as much as you want. Huh? That was easy. You said you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. The henchmen went back into the back room. They soon came back with four cigarette butts in a plastic bag. I used disposable chopsticks to lay them out on the table. I didn't touch them. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. MoMA? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date, remember the brand that So was smoking? Right, he was smoking. Uh, rookie Ramboro Llamas Klein. Klein. I remember. So was smoking a Klein cigarette. Correct. I wrapped the Klein cigarette butt in my handkerchief and pocketed it. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Nah, this was nothing. Anything for Tessa. Tessa? Did you just say Tessa? What what are you talking about, you Neanderthal? <laughs> I said anything for Tesseract! That doesn't even make sense. Shut up! If you're done here, get your ass going. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Whatever you say. He just gave himself up. Police headquarters. Tuesday, 6.45 p.m. I'm counting on you, Pewter. Ugh. You can leave it to me. Pewter took the cigarette butt from me. If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse... He's never okay in any timeline. There would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. How long will it take to analyze? Hmm? If I had six hours... You've got three. <laughs> That's totally unreasonable. But I suppose... I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence... Excuse me. How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. She should be there by now. Good. So, Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. We don't know that for sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then we are gonna go ahead and take a break. And it is time to get back on to the video game.
I hope you, hope you guys are ready. It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same thing earlier. Anyway, let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. Trouble? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? That's sus. Police headquarters, 9.26 p.m. That's quite a time jump. Pewter, is it true? The results are in? Yes. The DNA I collected from the cigarette butt is a positive match to the bloodstain from the warehouse. Really? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. He oh, carved Lord. out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda. And probably killed Renju and Shoko. Making so Sejima the new Cyclops killer. Yikes. Thank you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Oops, I forgot to pull something out. Hurry up and get so. Yeah, you're right. Turned around and made my way to the exit. But right as I was about to open the door, it was opened from the other side. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Where else? To So's house. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. What? what? I can't let you get so. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 years now. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire police force would be at risk. So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. That's why I can't let you go. Do you understand? Hell no. I see. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me! I had enough. I pushed past boss and left the room. I walked with confidence right down the hall with no hesitation. I had made up my mind. Let's go get so. I was going to So Sejima's mansion. I got in my car, turned the key, slammed my foot on the gas. Date, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on So, you will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Wait! Oh, should I make it a soba place instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. The video? Look! <sighs> Mizuki! Shit! Oh, no! Mizuki! Date Residence, 10.08 p.m. Mizuki! Mizuki! Where are you? Don't worry, I'll find you! Alright, uh, let's see, is she under the bed? Looked under the bed. No one there. 
uh, in the kitchen. Not that way. The voice is coming from the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, is she in the sofa? Not here. In the armchair? Nope. Uh, under the desk? Maybe under the desk. Are you blind? Mizuki isn't there. Date, the hollow space in the speaker. Perhaps Mizuki is in there. Would seem to be the correct assessment. Mizuki! Date, hurry! Help her! I know, I know. Mm. Are you okay? Uh, that hurt, idiot! Pull it off more gently! You're late, by the way! I was about to suffocate, just so you know! <sighs> This is so typical. You're never there when you need to be. Just like six months ago, I was about to miss the bus and you... <laughs> Actually, stay like that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe this. Halt your investigation, it said. Are you okay? Not hurt. My mouth stings a little. Thanks to you ripping the tape off my face. If I get fat lips from this, I'm gonna make you pay for cosmetic surgery. Don't girls want bigger lips though? <laughs> <laughs> Who did this? Three men. The doorbell rang and they said they were delivery men. I thought you had bought another one of your weird videos or something, so I opened the door. And they sprayed me with tear gas. Did you see their faces? No, they were all wearing masks. It is probable that they are working for So. They may be his bodyguards or hired thugs. It just makes me so mad. If they didn't get the jump on me, I would have. Pow, bang, bam, wham! Mizuki, I have just one thing to say. Hmm? Never in my life. Have I bought any weird videos? <laughs> That's what you wanted to say? Yes. We know who the culprit is. What? We identified the person inside the polar bear. The man who tried to kill Iris and Ota? Yes. And also, the man who killed your parents. Congressman So Sejima. So? Do you know him? Kinda. I've seen him on TV before. But why? I don't know why yet. But it was definitely his blood at the cold storage warehouse. I can't believe it. I'll never forgive him. I'll get him for this. I'm going to So's right now. Mizuki, I'm going to So's house now. Are you leaving me behind again? No, not anymore. <laughs> Even if I tried to leave you behind, you'd still come with me, wouldn't you? So are you ready? What should I be prepared for? So's bodyguards will be armed. It might get messy. Bring it. I'll put them in the ground. Don't kill them. We need him alive, and I need you to stay safe. Can you do that? Always. Always? Occasionally. <laughs> anyway. Date, you have to understand. He killed my parents. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. 
If I turn back now, I'll go crazy! I know. You don't have to say it. Let's go. Five minutes. Sedima Residence, 11, 10 p.m. Thanks for the warm welcome. I came for So. Please, take me to him. What are you talking about? He's sleeping and not taking any visitors. Go home. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm coming in. I took one step. Then I felt a shock ripple through my stomach. It was a fist screwing into my gut. Ugh. I've always wanted to see this line. Nice punch. Well, let me use a line too. This is the end for you, chump. Sejima's orders, nothing personal. That's what I thought. Huh? You're so predictable. What? <laughs> Easy. No, nope. we're not even close to done yet. Look. That's a lot of bald assholes. Bring it on. Let's do this. Is that the uniform? They must all be bald. Kill them. They're all brothers. Yeah! Dotty, I'll They're like the Joy sisters you from uh, Pokemon. Dotty. Are you okay? Huh. Shouldn't you worry more about yourself, old man? Jeez. I'm off. Barely see. There are numerous hostiles. Too many for you and your revolver to combat effectively. So what's the plan? Hmm. Let's see. of the pond. Do you remember it? Yeah. Your favorite thing is on that island. My favorite thing? A porno magazine. <laughs> what? All right, I was pressing escape. Take him out. Yes, yes sir. I was I pressed it. No, oh, bad end. No. Date. 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 <laughs> yes, oh. you dumb game. I was not clicking it with my mouse. Date. The island in the middle. Yeah. Your my favorite. What? Why is it not registering? Yes, sir. The hell? No, Date, Date.
I'm literally pressing it. There we go. Whoa! Porno mag! <sighs> huh? Where'd the porn go? <laughs> Load Evolver with wire bullets. What am I shooting at? Above us. Above us? Why? No time to explain, just do it! Welcome back, hobbits. What was that? That's supposed to be a warning shot or something? Now throw us the gun. Come quiet. Date, do as I told you! Don't you mean surrender? Do it! Do it or we die! Uh... Get them! Sparky bath. I collected my evolver from the pond. You lied to me again. I have already explained this to you. If you hear the words porno magazine, your reaction speed increases by a factor of 3.6. <laughs> a rather convenient function of yours. Why wouldn't I take advantage of it? Indeed. Damn it. How did you know about the lightning? Satellite imagery, atmospheric conditions, and other factors. However, I predicted the lightning would fall elsewhere. So I had you launch wire bullets to direct the lightning to the pond. Anyway, where's Mizuki? I will scan for her. <laughs> That's not good. My eyes! My eyes! Mizuki! Pepper spray? <laughs> Wait for me! I'm coming! I sprinted through the rain-soaked garden and into the mansion. Not here. Doctor, I detect trace amounts of capsaicin in the air. Mizuki appears to have been sprayed with tear gas. No. Not this room.
not this one either. Can't find Mizuki anywhere. This is her beloved this pipe. Is metal pipe. Taking Mizuki hostage. Shit. Date, look around. Mizuki must be nearby. Folding screen. Have you looked on the other side of the sliding door? No, but I know there's another room back there. X-ray. He's got a gun. There she is. Mizuki. That is so holding her. Son of a bitch is using her as a shield. He's only Why not pointing the gun at her back? head. She does not appear to be conscious. I cannot determine why. But she is breathing. She is alive. I have to do something. Wait, don't move. Remember what So told you. That he can see us somehow. There may be a sensor or something similar in this room. Or I could just shoot him in the head. I would stop that line of thinking. If you shoot now, there is a high chance you will hit Mizuki. Then what am I supposed to do? Let me think. Load Evolver with spherical bullets. Then, pick up that metal pipe on the floor. I did as I instructed, moving carefully to not draw its suspicion. You need to do two things. First, Throw the metal pipe toward the southwest corner of the room. Then, immediately shoot a spherical bullet at the pipe. No questions, there is no time to explain. Are you sure this will work? If you time it correctly, yes. My calculations are never wrong. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Oh, dang it. There you are. I didn't get the QTE in time. No, it can't be. Dante. Dante! Dante! It's the weirdest QTEs, too. Are you ready? Dante! 
Mizuki, move! What? Date, don't! It will hit Mizuki! Shit! I threw myself to the left to push Mizuki away, but... Bad end. We were here. Mizuki! <laughs> Mizuki, move! What? Protect. Damn it. Killed by your own father. By the way, what? Do you like fireworks? Let me show you the most beautiful firework you'll ever see. Wait, don't what? blink. It'll only be a flash. Lightning. Lights aren't on. I guess we shoot him. How do you like these fireworks? What? Just want to go to the cabaret club. <laughs> what? Wh what? What did you say? Hey, quit fooling around. Come on, Date, get up. Hey, hey. Dante! 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 Wednesday.
Central Hospital, 2.29 p.m. I know even the best of us can be taken out of commission by a simple cold, but I always thought Date was above that somehow, like a hero. A hero? Heroes are supposed to be invincible. Even if the odds are stacked against them, something miraculous happens to save them. That's what I thought would happen to Date. But instead, here he is. You make it sound like he's dead. <laughs> right. Sorry. Date has an artificial eyeball called an AI ball in his left eye socket. Mizuki exactly knows! where so shot him. So, it acted like a kind of shield. Because of that, the bullet didn't go through his brain. It saved Date's life. The surgery to remove the bullet was successful, and now all we have to do is wait until Date wakes up. That's what was supposed to happen anyway. But instead... The bed. A bed with my pet lying on it. Date is like a pet cat to me. That's not funny. To bed. How about Date's condition? It's strange, isn't it? The surgery was successful. No EEG abnormalities. But he still hasn't woken up. I think I might know why, but if I'm right, it's nothing any of this medical equipment can fix. He needs porn. The problem lies in his soul. His soul? Something's going on in his consciousness. About the AI ball. Oh, that's Iba. Iba? Yeah, Date's partner. You saw him talk to himself sometimes, right? More like all the time. That was him talking to Iba. Oh. About Date's punishment. Don't worry about that. It's true that Date disobeyed direct orders, but that order basically came from So himself. And he's not going to be a problem anymore, is he? Date won't get reprimanded for this. Oh, good. So also no longer has his hooks in the MPD. We can finally resume the investigation properly. Patient monitor, equipment used for monitoring vital signs, curtain, sink, door, TV. Remember Date would wake up late at night to watch this one show. It was just a girl running towards the camera in slow motion. I didn't get it at all. I wonder if they still have that show. What's this again? A bedside table? Um, bedside table? It's more like red tied cable. No rhyming. I'm making myself sad. Bedside table. TV. Perverted old man. Perverted old man? No response. Idiot. Idiot? No answer. Stupid. Stupid. No answer. Date is lying on the bed. About the new Cyclops serial killer. All the evidence points to So Sejima. Thanks to Date, I think we can finally close this case. There might even be a promotion waiting for him after this. About Date's soul. 
He's lost somewhere in his own mind. Lost? He doesn't know the way back. Sinking over and over can have this effect. How can he find his way back again? Only one way I can think of. Maybe... Paging Miss Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue Kuranushi. Wait, that's her name? Please come to the nurse's station. Looks like I gotta go. I'll be back as soon as I can. What? While I'm gone, keep talking to Date, okay? You might give him a reason to wake up. See you. Hm. Talk to him. Huh. You still owe us stew. Boss's real name is Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue Kuranushi. <laughs> it doesn't fit her at all. Don't you think so, Date? Please, Date. Laugh about it with me. Wake up. Date. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Okay, big brother. You gotta wake up now. You'll be late for school. That's what you want to hear, right, Date? You want to be called Big Brother, don't you? I know you do. I've seen the anime that you watch. Hey, say something. Talk back to me like you always do. Argue with me. Tell me that you have good taste in anime. You don't. Date, it's not fun if you don't say anything. You're so stupid. Hey, Date. You're so stupid. You know that? Grade A, first class, king of the idiots. Why did you protect me? It was my own fault. I went into the mansion by myself, and then got tear gas sprayed at me by soap. He hit me in the back of the head and I blacked out. This was all my fault. Everything I did was a mistake. But you came to save me. You made me look like an idiot, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I get it. You wanted to scold me, right? After saving me, you're never gonna let me hear the end of it. You suck, Date. Big stupid jerk. I guess we'll speak okay. from the heart. Since we're alone, I'll be honest with you. Earlier, Boss said that you were like a hero, right? I think so too. Deep down, you're a hero to me. You raised me since I was eight. Even when times were hard or you were depressed, you were there for me. The past few days, too. After mom and daddy, I was trying to act like it didn't bother me, but really, I was just holding it inside. Staying quiet, pushing my feelings down. And I just took it. I forced myself to be happy. But inside, it hurt so bad. Like I wanted to die. Sad and afraid and alone. My heart was about to break. But, but because you were there, I was able to fight it. You being there helped me be myself. But if you're gone, Date, I... Wake up! Hey. Date, wake up. Come on, wake up. What happened to your promise? You can't tell me you forgot. You promised, Date. We're supposed to eat stew. Are you going to break your promise? You're not going to take me? That's not fair, Date. You liar. And God's a liar, too. I prayed at the shrine. I prayed that you wouldn't get hurt. But... <laughs> Do you want to save Date? Yes. Then I'll finish my thought from earlier. There's one way we can bring back Date. Someone has to sink into his brain and guide him home. Oh god, Someone? it's gonna be filled with porn. Mizuki, I need a favor. 
Huh? Don't send the 12 year old. You've once before, right? Your synchronization levels were extremely high. You two are compatible for syncing. No one is more qualified than you. Please, please save Date. Okay. I'll try. Police headquarters, Wednesday, 3.47 p.m. You told me a thousand times. <laughs> All right. Mizuki, we're counting on you. Leave it to me. Date, hold on. I'll bring you back, I promise. Are you ready, Mizuki? Hmm. Then let's begin. Save. This is my house, but it's in black and white. Is this what's inside Date's heart? Date, where are you hiding? Date! Oh, hey, Stu! Huh? There's color over there. Alright. One, two... Three... Four locks. Five locks! Oh, shit. Bring back Dante's heart. I need to tell him my true feelings. Uh, let's go check out the stew. Is that stew? Uh, leave it, smell it, taste it. Let's smell it. Smells like Date's special stew. It's making me hungry. I'll have Date make me some when he wakes up. So, he has to wake up. Alright. Is that stew? It looks good. Uh, let's taste it. I'll try eating some. The vegetables and meat are cut too big. Are they always this big? Me? Why? Hey, Date! Everyone's waiting for you! Hey! Are you listening? Date? Don't be modest now. This is my special recipe. Eat it while it's hot. I don't know how I did it, but I think it came out pretty good. So heartwarming. <laughs> Made a stew. This is when I first came to Date's house. Date, what happened? Why this? 
The desk got colored. I've got a third timey. Uh, police ID? Date's police ID. Look, throw it. Date's police ID. Without this, no one would believe he's really a police officer. Leaving it around like this is how it gets lost. If I hide it somewhere, maybe he'll panic and wake up. Ah, uh, never mind. He's too dense to notice something like that. Uh, corkboard? Date's corkboard. Uh, this note. I wonder what this note is. Side? Wop? Is this someone's name? A woman? I can't tell. Ugh, useless. Date's handwriting is trash. Uh, computer? Date's computer. Uh, turn it on. Power button, power button. Where is it? Well... <laughs> oh. Whoops. <laughs> Don't know my own strength. Dante! I broke your computer! You can't watch any more porn! You better come out and stop me! <laughs> Memories of school. There's nothing really else. Date's corkboard. This picture. It's gonna make me eat that. A pretty picture of a river. Where is Akikawa Valley? I'd like to go there someday. You have five minutes remaining, Mizuki. Date's corkboard. Nope, nope. Date's police ID. Are you crazy? Jeez, what are you doing? It's because you washed your old underwear with my clothes, dummy! Pervert! I gotta be more careful. If I keep this up, I'm not gonna get off with a warning and a pay cut. I remember this. God, that took a lot of time. A uh, trash can? That's new. A trash can. Uh, look closer. Go start using these. Oh, maybe this. Hey, your school announced bring your parents to school day, right? Don't you have to tell Renju and Shoko? Wouldn't matter. Hmm. What should I do? Sorry for making you worry about me, Date. Gotta know this. The speed. 
speakers have color now. Okay. Left speaker and audio deck. The speaker I was in. Listen or hit. Listen. Voice. Mizuki! Mizuki! Hold on! I'll find you! I remember being mad at you because you took so long. But after I saw your face, everything felt better. Four minutes, Mizuki. Are you alright? A door a rabbit. It's at a rabbit. Sorry, at a rabbit. Ugly. Hug. It is ugly. At a rabbit is kind of ugly. I mean, at the time I said it was ugly, but... Hmm. I hope this is okay. What if she doesn't like it? I'm home! Mizuki, uh, welcome back. <laughs> what are you hiding? What's that? This? Oh, uh, I, I wonder. I was just thinking that this place looks awfully empty, right? Look, it's perfect right here. Hmm. Ugly. <laughs> Next is Let's go ahead and get out of the Somnium before we call it a night. Door. A door. Uh, knock, tackle, or open. Yikes. Uh, tackle. This door must be extra tough to take one of my tackles. Maybe I should train with it. I got rid of that one. A door. Uh, knock. Mizuki, hey, I'm sorry about eating your pudding without asking. I'll buy you another one. Hey, come on, open up. I'm at my limit here. I really have to go! I'm gonna piss my pants! <laughs> Mizuki, seriously, come on. Open the door! <laughs> Memories of the bed. You have three minutes remaining. Be careful. It's my bed. Um, smell, lift, or sleep. Smell? Doesn't smell like anything. Good. <laughs> I can't sleep if it smells like Date. It's my bed. 
Uh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Date, but I can't sleep anywhere but here. <sighs> Figuring out a dream is tough. What should I do next? Oto would have this cleared in seconds. Now that I think about it, didn't I used to sleep on that sofa? When did that change? Alright, let's uh... Date's bed. Well, check the sofa. sofa. Alright. Sleep on the sofa. I was sleeping here before, though. Oh. Mom. Daddy. I said that? Making my heart warm. There's color that way now. It looks like sunlight. All right, fridge. It's the fridge. Get in. <laughs> Do good with tight spaces, and it's cold. <laughs> wow, add a rabbit went totally flat and disappeared. Dante, what are you trying to tell me? Add a rabbit isn't cursed, right? <laughs> it's the fridge. I guess it's time to open it. Probably because this is Date's dream. Oh. Hello. You have less than two minutes. Hurry, Mizuki. The There's pot. There's still in the pot. Uh, I guess let's turn it up. can't move. Is this sleep paralysis? Uh. Rabbit? What? Are you doing this? Stop! Please! What do you want? That's oh, kind of disturbing. No! Date! Help me! Date!
the hell? <sighs> Add a rabbit. What does this mean? <laughs> she been unlocked. Ah, do rabbit. <laughs> Okay, uh... Oh, hey. Uh, Date's coat. Date's coat. Smell kick. I ain't wearing that. This looks dirty. It smells like him, too. Well, I'm not gonna wear it! I don't want to wear your coat, Date! Date's coat. Mm. Kick? No, that's not right. I'll do it when he's wearing it. That's much better. <laughs> Hey, I got an extra sweet pudding for little babies. You can have it. <laughs> Watch your mouth! Nice kick. <laughs> There's something else. Ooh, backpack. My school bag. Uh, this charm. This is from Ikume Shrine. Since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! What did you ask for? Oh. To leave this boring place as soon as possible. Dante. Oh, Dante. Mommy and Daddy? Or Date? Mom and Daddy. Suki, I'm sorry that I couldn't spend that much time with you. From now on, I promise to play a lot more with you. 
Get back to load. Yeah. Okay. What the heck, we'll see what Shoko's got to say. Mom? I love you, Mizuki. I'll never let go. We'll be together forever. Mom? Mommy! It just takes us back to the flowchart.
Mizuki. Thank you, Mizuki. Achievement unlocked, Captain. Bonds revealed. Can we watch the ending? I suppose. Who says that's the end, though? What the? How did I... get here? Dante! Hey, why the sudden affection? Because... you're so stupid! Huh? <laughs> you're so stupid! I just wanna punch you! Welcome back. Welcome home, Dante. Yeah, I'm home. How can it not be the end? Well, I'll let the flowchart answer that. That's the end of that path, yes. Ikumi Shrine. Why are you on her shoulder? It is more comfortable than your eye socket. You can sit here anytime you want, okay? Just hide if you see someone coming. The world's not ready for you. What did you pray for? I do not believe in the existence of God. But, being that we are at a shrine, I felt it necessary to go with the tradition. What did you pray for, Date? I didn't ask for anything. I just said thank you. Thank you for saving my life. Pardon me, I believe there is a misunderstanding. It was I who saved your life, not God. I was the one who stopped the bullet. That was completely by chance. Wait, do you even remember that? I do. Everything that I see is uploaded to the cloud. All wirelessly, in real time. Even if my body is totally destroyed, my data is backed up and never lost. That includes my memories, as well as my central programming, which governs my artificial intelligence. Though, I do not have any information from after being shot. Do you know what Date said right before he lost consciousness? No. What did he say? I said, Azuki, I'm so glad that you're safe. No, you didn't. You were moaning about wanting to go to a cabaret club. <laughs> that sounds like Date. Well, all the well that ends well. We are over time by 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and save, and we'll pick this up on Thursday. those ends up on on Thursday and a couple more days. Yeah. 
playing as Mizuki was pretty cool, wasn't it? This ending does not explain why she has Aiba in the sequel. Uh, I honestly don't know why she would have Aiba in the first place. Because uh, Mizuki does not lose her eye. I can pretty safely say that. I don't remember Mizuki lose. Hey, darling! Yeah. Mizuki doesn't lose her eye in the end of AI Somnium Files, right? Mizuki. I don't remember her losing her eye at all. Yeah, I don't remember it at all. Husband has confirmed. So that will have to wait until the sequel, I suppose. But anyway, we will be uh, playing more of Somnium Files on Thursday. On Saturday, we will probably be playing Fable, unless I have request otherwise. Um, and uh, it'll all be normal time. So I hope you enjoyed the stream. I really enjoyed playing it with you guys. And um, stay tuned after the credits for the raid to the next streamer. And when you get to it, sleep well, my lovelies.